वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन क्रिएटिंग स्टार पैटर्न इन पाइथन इन आर प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी मेजरली कवर्ड हाफ पिरामिड लाइक दिस एंड देन वी मेंट ऑन टू क्रिएट अ लिटल मोर कम्प्लेक्स पैटर्न विच वर द राइट हाफ पिरामिड इन आर टूडेज वीडियो वी गो क्लाइम अप द लैडर एंड क्रिएट अ स्लाइटली मोर कम्प्लेक्स पैटर्न विच इज द होल पिरामिड एंड इट्स ऑल्सो कॉल द हिल पैटर्न From our previous videos, you must remember how we discussed or we saw that these patterns are nothing but a combination of the two fundamental patterns that we did earlier. So, let's have a look at what fundamental patterns we need to create our today's pattern. The very first thing that we need is a decreasing star pattern, or in this case, space. After that, we want an increasing star pattern, and finally, we want another increasing star pattern. so let's go ahead and code that out the very first thing over here is going to be our outer loop which need not be changed because we want the same number of rows and we'll keep our print statement like it is the next thing that we need to add here is our first nested loop so our first nested loop that we wanted was a decreasing star pattern so let's print that out it should start from the interval i and go up to 5 and it should be printing a space but for now let's just print a hashtag and let's see we have a decreasing star or hash pattern in this case our next nested loop we wanted an increasing star pattern and same for the third nested loop so let's quickly write the code for an increasing star pattern it should go from the range starting from i plus 1 and we can literally copy the entire thing and add another loop which prints an increasing star pattern let me just correct the indentation let's have a look at this what we have here is somewhat of a pyramid but towards the left we'll just get rid of the hash sign and add a space instead but apart from that you'll also notice that the peak of our pyramid is missing the pyramid is not complete it's simply two stars at the top and a multiplication of that below that so let's see how we're going to correct this so to correct our pyramid what we need here is that out of the two triangles that we printed one of them need to be run one less than the other so if in this case this pyramid is running only four times this one will run five times or vice versa so let's correct that and make our third nested loop run one less time than the other one and we have already corrected the space so let's run this and see that's what we wanted and another pattern that comes from this pattern is the downward hill pyramid pattern so let's see how we're going to make that a downward pyramid should look something like this i will not be creating the entire shape here but this is what a downward pyramid should look like so the fundamental patterns that we'll be needing in this case first are first an increasing half pyramid of spaces then a decreasing half pyramid of stars and then another decreasing star pattern triangle so let's go ahead and code it as well why not for a downward pyramid we will be needing keeping the outer loop exactly the same we can first now create an increasing space pattern so let's type that out because we want the increasing pattern i think we'll have to make it plus 1 then we'll be needing our decreasing star patterns two of them let's add those two nested loops i to 5 and print a star and another one of these nested loops which have a decreasing star pattern i forgot to make all of this into j otherwise my code will get messed up so i to 5 and let's print that out let's see but again we need to set the peak right so for this case let's change the 
middle nested loop and if i wanted to run one less than the number of times my third nested loop is running i'll simply have to start this interval from one more than where it was starting from earlier and that should do it yep that's it that is what we needed for a downward pyramid so now looking at these two we can shift to our next pattern which we'll be covering in our next video which is a diamond pattern so why don't you go ahead and use the combination of this pyramid and a downward pyramid to create a diamond pattern let me know in the comments if you were able to solve this or not and we'll see you in the next video